Welcome watchers of illusion to my castle of confusion it's the 18th of October I'm Rich this is the Retro Revival show and I've got a fantastic arcade classic <laughs> yes it's Outrun yes the original arcade and what a fantastic game this is if not rock hard but you know sometimes you gotta love a challenge and this game presents you with such a challenge now you'll see in the top left corner we have a timer that ticks down if it runs out it's game over now the point of this game is basically to race from one end of the zone to the next which will then transition into a new zone and so on and so forth and you see here it's lovely and smooth you've got gear changes you've got your low gear and your high gear low gear is great for when you uh, when you maybe crash which uh, which might happen might happen a lot I'm not sure there's always a bend in this level that I always get hit by it's like a double bend you go around one way and then you go around the next now you can see here we are driving I believe it's a Ferrari I think that's the one and oh I've managed to no I see I can't, I can't do that corner every single time and why weren't we wearing seat belts anyway so yes, the idea is to race from one zone to the other. Now you're not racing against other players or other cars, you're, it's just literally racing against time itself. And you can see here, time is very unforgiving. We've got 10 seconds left in the zone to get to one, the next destination. You can see there's cars on the road, they're not what we're racing against. And lorries, look at this. So we've got a checkpoint just in time, we've now got an extended play. And you see the zone has now changed, and I'll tell you what, these cars are right suicidal knob jockeys they just look at them they they are just in your way so it's great though because this this reminds me a lot of um space harrier and the way that the zones change with that um again that's a sega game so probably using the same sort of technology the same game engine but it's great look at it absolutely fantastic we had clouds there now we've got a nice blue sky and lots of trees to smash into we're getting told off now so that's a great thing about this game it's it's sort of um it's not a serious racer but by god you've got to have your wits about you because if you can't hit the brakes or you don't shift your gears down you're going to collide with everything uh in this case lots of trees you can see the timer is actually quite hard to beat um it's it's actually very difficult to beat the timer especially especially if this happens where you actually can't get past the cars and the lorries and other obstacles in your way but however this game is fantastic you can't beat a bit of outrun it's absolutely fantastic see i'm out of time now so just as we were coming to the split zone to be able to go on to the next part of the level and then it teases you by saying there you go look how close you were to the next section never mind we can deal with that anyway let's let's see where we ranked oh top that's not bad um i'm gonna have another go at this and see if we can get any further you've got um three different soundtracks to choose from and I've picked the classic Magical Sound Shower because it's my favourite. It's like the classic Outrun tune. I'm actually going to just be quiet for a minute so you can hear it. Brilliant. Love it. Outrun. That's, that's the tune I always associate with Outrun. There are a couple of Passing Breeze and there's another one as well. But this is the one that I particularly like and it's the one that a lot of fans will remember fondly. I love Outrun. It's a great game. And, you know, a lot of home conversions as well. Uh, Spectrum, Amstrad, C64, Sega, Master System. I think the Mega Drive had a version as well. Um, all the home computers, the Amiga had a version, although I have to say the Amiga version was a bit poo. But the, the Spectrum version was amazing, especially the 128K. Yeah, it was a very long loading time, but it loaded all the levels at once. And it had the classic soundtrack built in. Absolutely brilliant. And I will be covering Outrun on other systems as well which I'm sure you'll be looking forward to. But it's lo it's a lovely little game. I remember playing this in the arcade, and you actually did have the steering wheel and the shift stick, and that was, that was fantastic. Playing this on an arcade stick is a bit bit weird, but 
it used to have the same point. Now I'm going to take the left hand fork so you can see what the other level would look like. You can see now we're already changing zones, but this is where I mean Space Harrier, because this is the way Space Harrier changed its zones also. You also you just run across and then suddenly the zone would change. I love the way it's done that. But then you suddenly get these kamikaze cars and lorries that just won't get out your way. They're made out of this Mad Max era, is it? Um, but you can see here now we're in sort of a more sort of farmer's environment, like cornfields and whatnot here. Um, so it sort of gives a more of a European flavour to the game, I think. Um, this did spawn a couple of sequels. I think Outrun Europa, I think, was one, and Outrun 2, which I believe hit next gen. Well, it would have been next gen back in then because it was done on the Xbox and the PlayStation 2, uh, that one. And I think the classic game was built in. I think Outrun was actually also available as a mini game in Shenmue, which was on the Dreamcast. A little uh, thing for you there. And I think Space Harrier was as well, but not 100% sure. I know they definitely put one of those games into Shenmue on the arcade that you could go in and do that as a character playing arcade. That's oh, just what a, what a great idea. But yes, nice smooth scrolling. Music's absolutely fantastic. Colour scheme is, is lovely. I've got three seconds left and I'm not going to do it. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, that has been Outrun. I have been Rich, this has been the Retro Revival Show, and I will catch you very soon for a brand new review. Take care of each other, and yourselves, and whoever else you might want to take care of, and I'll catch you in the next time. Bye for now! <laughs> <laughs>